What up, what up? Lockdown day six. Quarantine. Not really, but it's it's lockdown. Um, so let me tell you how my day went today. Uh, before I even start, rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. Coward of the County was my jam. When I was like first, I think first grade, second grade, I had a, um, a little record player. Well, it was like the tiny ones. And I had, for some reason, I had a Kenny Rogers record. I used to play it, Coward of the County. That was like the first like gangsta gangsta song. So, and then Islands in the Stream. Uh, God, there's so many good songs by Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. Uh, so hey, let me tell you what happened today. So, I get people hit me up all the time. Um, can they can they send me shirts or T-shirts or products and stuff? And these guys right here, Two Brothers Coffee Company. And look, it's two black hands on a coffee cup. They hit me up probably, I don't know, a uh, couple months ago and said, um, can we send you some coffee? We are a black owned coffee company. And I go, yeah. So they sent it to me and I just, I, you know, I'm gone half the time and I haven't got a chance to try it. So this morning we're all in lockdown. I said, I'm gonna try two brothers coffee. So I tried it. It was good. And I get, oh, here's the point of the story. I gave him a shout out. I said, T today I'm drinking Two Brothers Coffee. It's a black owned coffee, uh, a black owned coffee company. So nobody says anything about it. I just gave him a shout out. They reposted the, the, the story on their story. And then I get a message from this lady. Let me tell you what she said. She said, now, why did you have to say black owned business? Was it necessary? Could you have just said business owned by two brothers? Labeling is what divides this country and it pisses me off. What? Well, how did you, how did you take anything negative out of me literally going on my Instagram story and going, it's a black owned coffee company. Look at the, la talk about labeling, look at the label. It's two black hands. They contacted me saying, we are a black owned coffee company. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm like, that's a, that's more of a description. It's not a label. I'm like, and then I go to the lady, I, I, I message her back. I said, I said, they reposted my post and nobody made one mention of this but you. So maybe you're being a little oversensitive on this one. Then since I got nothing but time, but time I went to her page. It's a white lady. What? What are you upset about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, of all the stuff going on in the world right now, that's what you choose to be upset about? That. Two brothers. Two brothers. Coffee company. Oh, so stupid. So, anyways, that's probably the most exciting thing that happened to me today. Was that. And uh, you see the Fu Manchus coming in. Look at that. Now you can start to see it because I shave. I'm only shaving every other day, so because um, I don't know if they're ever gonna close everything down. Then I'm then I won't have razors. But you see, I got a little gray down there. I'm letting the bottom come in thick, and then I'll make it thinner once it's in thick. But right now, it's coming in, and I'm not gonna get a haircut either. So I'm just gonna have long hair and a Fu Manchu when this thing's over. Uh, and oh, good thing to do every night on Instagram is go to DJ Nice. And he's got this whole quarantine party he does. And I went in there today and Michelle Obama was there, Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats, Diddy, Tyrese, um, oh, it's Lenny Kravitz. Uh, it's, it's just everybody, uh, Eve, Eva, uh, there's just so many people in there. Anyways, if you get a chance, check it out, man. He just plays jam after jam. And he's, he's like DJing for hours. Hours on top of hours, he got over a hundred thousand. Once Michelle Obama hit, everybody start coming. Bing, bing, bing. It's just on Instagram Live, so if you get a chance, check it out. And uh, I posted yesterday a podcast I did with Eric Griffin. Or maybe it was this morning, a couple months ago. But it's really funny. It's it's comedy horror road stories from different comedy clubs. So if you go to my uh, YouTube page, just check it out. And um, we'll see how the Fu Manchu's coming. 
But this is the end of day six of the quarantine lockdown coronavirus. All right, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Coming for day seven.